Oh, hello. Why well, didn't see you come in? We're about to do a 15 minute yoga. It's a slow flow. If you'd like to listen to the playlist I have made, it is uh, in the description of this video is a link. Please place your music on a separate device so that you can hear the video sound as well as your music. Uh, feel free to listen to whatever you'd like to listen to or no music at all. Uh, this will be a slow flow class, beginner friendly. Uh, let's get moving in our bodies. Uh, I'll tell you when to press play. So get set up. We're going to start off in Tadasana. And uh, yeah, welcome to the home studio where we do yoga sometimes. So we're going to get started. Press play on your music and stand at the top of your mat. Come into your Tadasana, you can close your eyes, have your feet hips width distance apart. Lift all your toes up and spread them wide and then place them back in the ground. And then lift the arches of your feet as you draw your ankles together energetically. And pull your inner thighs back and apart as you draw your tailbone down. And engage your core, lift your ribs, bring your shoulders down your back and your arms by your sides, palms facing forwards. Lift from the crown of your head and then drop your shoulders. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out your mouth, big sigh. <sighs> Couple more breaths like that. Inhale through the nose. Big sigh out your mouth. <sighs> Two more like that on your own. <sighs> nice. Let go of any stress in your body. Let your feet sink into the ground and breathe in any way that feels comfortable for you. And take your hands onto your heart. Bow your chin into your chest. And imagine what you want to create. What do you want to use this energy for? And bringing your arms back by your sides, palms facing forward. Inhale, arms forward and up, lift up, reach up. On your exhale, bring your palms together, hinging from your hips, forward fold, let your arms hang out in front of you. You can take your hands to your elbows and let your upper body hang. You could have your hands on your thighs or on your hips or on the ground. You can sway around, relax your face and your jaw, breathe into the backs of your ribs. Take another full breath here. And then bring your hands out in front of you. Place your hands as wide as your mat. Press your hands into your mat. Step your feet back. Plank pose. Place your hands as wide as your shoulders. Stacked underneath your shoulders. Press up between your shoulder blades. Lift your hips and your heart and your head to the same height. If you want to have your knees on the ground, you're welcome to do that. Couple more breaths here and playing. 
Bring your hands towards your feet energetically. Two more breaths. And on your next exhale, drop your knees, untuck your toes, bend your elbows, slowly lower your chest down, chaturanga. Keeping your hands beside your ribs, elbows tucked to your body, feet hips with distance. On your inhale, press the tops of your feet and pelvis into your mat as you lift your heart up using your upper back. And on your exhale, lower down. And on your inhale, baby cobra. And then we'll press into our hands on our exhale and come all the way up lift your chin up stay for a few breaths and on your next exhale bend your elbows slowly lower your chest down keep your right hand planted baby cobra style Take your left arm out T-shape. Walk your left hand as far as you can take it. And then stay here if you like. If you feel the stretch in your shoulder, that's good enough for you. Go ahead, stay there. If you'd like to intensify the stretch, press into your right hand, lift your right shoulder, look up. Option to take your right leg, bend it at the knee, open your hips, bringing your right foot down to the back side of your mat. Always an option though. Whatever feels the best for you is where you wanna be. Spend a few breaths there. And on your next exhale, lower your right shoulder. Bring your left hand in beside your ribs, baby cobra style. Take your right arm out, T-shape. Walk your fingers as far as they'll go till you feel the stretch in your right shoulder. And then option to stay here. Option to press your left hand into the ground, lift your left shoulder, look up. Also option if you have the space, lift your back, left leg, bend it at the knee and place it behind you. Now that's supposed to benefit the stretch. So if it doesn't, then don't do it and come back to a place where you feel the stretch and spend a few breaths there. All right, on your next exhale, bring your left chest down, take your right hands, place them beside your ribs, tuck your toes, reverse your chaturanga, press your hands into the ground, lift up in the plank, bend your knees, lift your hips back and up, come to downward dog. If your hands are shoulder width distance apart, can bend one knee, place the opposite heel in the ground, walk your dog out. All right, bend both knees, look forward, step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Take your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders down your back as you straighten your arms up towards the ceiling. Breathe into your chest, relax your neck and your head. One more breath here. And then we'll open our arms, keep your arms shooting back, gonna move into chair pose. On your next inhale, bend your knees, sweep your arms underneath you and forward and up, come into chair pose. Sit into your heels, open your chest. And on your next inhale, come all the way up, 
Exhale, bring your hands into prayer. Stop at your heart, bow your head into your hands. Take a deep breath. Big sighing breath out. Bring your arms by your sides. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lift your heart. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank pose. All right, drop your knees, sit back, child's pose, arms extended. You can have your knees together or knees as wide, knees as, wide as your mat. Walk your fingertips up your mat like you were Spider-Man climbing a building. Pull your shoulder blades together. Breathe into your chest. Open your wings. Walk your left hand over onto your right hand. Reach to the top right corner of your mat as your hips sink to the back left. Take another breath and exhale, bring your left hand back and we'll take our right hand over, reach up to the top left corner of your mat, hips stretch to the back right. One more breath here. Then bring your right hand back to the right side of your mat. Come up into tabletop. And then sit onto your heels. Going to set up deer pose. Bring your right leg out in front of you. Two 90 degree angles with your feet. And your legs. Front thigh up the side edge of your mat. Front shin along the front edge. Both ankles bent. Hips with distance apart from your front shin to your back thigh. Lift your hips, plant your pelvis, engage your core, bring your weight forward any amount. Take another full breath here. Walk your hands towards your feet. Bring both legs out in front of you. Shake them out. Switch sides. Left leg going up the side edge of your mat. Shin in line with the front edge. Legs, hips width distance apart. Back shin along the side edge. Ankles bent. Lift your hip, press your pelvis down, engage your core, bring your weight forward. Big breath, send your breath all the way into your head. And take another two breaths here, nice and full, fill up. And walk your hands towards your feet, bring both legs out in front of you. Slowly lower onto your back, bring your feet together, soles touch, knees wide, lift your hips, plant your tailbone, bring your arms by your side, shoulder blades come together on your back. Butterfly pose.
Now you can stay here or option to extend your legs, come into Shavasana. Again, you can do Shavasana and butterfly or you could take your feet wide, knees together. Hands can be by your sides or you could place your hands on your body. Send yourself some healing vibes. Option to be on your side or seated meditation. Wherever you are, just allow a moment for us. As you're ready, you can slowly start to bring yourself back to the present moment. Gently turn yourself onto your favorite side. And come into a fetal pose. And then pressing your hands into the ground, lift up into a seat, come into a seated meditation. Bring your hands in the prayer, place them on your heart. Thank yourself for giving yourself this practice and taking the time to support yourself. Thank you for practicing with me. We'll see you next time.